Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. This is a 15-minute everyday yoga workout. So this is something that you can use to start your days. You can use it throughout the day. It's a nice blend of overall fitness. So we've got strength, flexibility, a little bit of balance, um, and also some stress relief and breathing focus. So I hope you enjoy this workout and uh, just do your best and follow along. There's no required equipment for this workout, and I'll be providing modifications for you if you are new or inflexible throughout the routine. We're going to get started with a standing side bend. So feet can either be touching, toes touching, heels an inch apart, or if that's uncomfortable, feet spread a few inches, arms overhead, fingers interlaced, and I want you to reach up as high as you can. Make sure that there's no tension, not uh, uncomfortable tension through your neck. So if there is, you can bend your elbows a little bit like this. I also want you to focus on lengthening, creating space through your rib cage. So we're stretching your intercostal muscles. If you spend a lot of time at a desk or you just spend a lot of time sitting, these muscles are going to be tight and that can impact your breathing. So nice big stretch through here, reaching all the way up. Take a deep breath in. And then almost like you're drawing a line on the ceiling, lean up and over toward the right. Keep both legs straight. Push down through your feet. Breathing in and out of your nose. As you start to go into the bend, you'll feel that it's a little more difficult to breathe. So just continue to focus on the breathing. As you inhale, you're getting taller. As you exhale, bending a little bit deeper into it, but maintaining that height. And especially as it gets challenging, that's when we focus on the breathing. So a whole stretching through the whole side of the body here. Abs are working, your thighs are working. Feeling that stretch. One more breath. And then come back to the middle. Once again, get nice and tall here, kind of reset. So your fingertips are pressing up. Your arms can bend if you need to, if that feels better for your shoulders. Make sure that you're creating space in the rib cage. So you're feeling your rib cage open up. And then when you're ready, breath in. And as you exhale, lean up and over to the left. Legs are straight. Hips are facing straight forward. And people have a tendency to round this right shoulder forward. So make sure that that right shoulder rolls back a little bit so your torso is facing straight forward. Squeeze your arms back. Open up your shoulders a little bit more. Work into your shoulder flexion. A lot of people have really tight shoulders, difficulty getting their arms overhead. This is part strength and part flexibility. So really squeeze the arms back here. Feel your upper back muscles working as you do that. And then press your arms up a little bit higher. Lean a little bit more to the left. Keep going into this. You've got a couple more breaths. Your breathing should last longer in your yoga workouts than it does in everyday life. So. It'll seem like a long two breaths. Go a little bit deeper. Keep that length through your body from toes all the way to the extended fingertips. And then bring it back to the middle. From here, I want you to open your arms up into a Y. Look up. Keep the back of your neck long. So think about lifting your head away from your shoulders. Take another deep breath in. And then as you exhale, squeeze your arms back. Really open up through your chest. Lift your heart toward the ceiling. So I want you to really lift the chest up. Create that opening. And visualize bending from your mid back up. So your lower back is staying neutral. But from the middle of your back and up. So just below the shoulder blades all the way up to the back of your neck. Think about bending there and getting as tall as you can squeezing your arms back. This is intense, but this pose is amazing for energy, it's so good for posture, and also just for opening up all of this tightness in the chest, <clears throat> both physically and also from a, a mental perspective in terms of just stress in your chest, tightness in your chest from holding your breath, from anxiety, from worrying about the day ahead. <clears throat> Focus on that breathing. Be able to control the stress. And then go ahead and release your hands. 
All right, really nice little warm-up sequence there. From here, we're going to move into a standing balance series. I want you to stand on your right foot. If balance is difficult, I want you to hold on to something on the right side of you. So a counter, a couch, whatever you have nearby. And then driving down through this right foot, squeezing your right glute, squeezing the right thigh. Lift your left knee up to hip level. So if you have that support, if you need it, keep your right hand on whatever you're holding onto for support, for balance. If you don't need it, bring your arms into goalpost arms. Squeeze your elbows back. Right leg should be totally straight here. Lift your left knee up higher. You're going to feel your left hip flexors working as you do that. Really squeeze the elbows back. And if you have one hand helping on balance, the other arm can be up at that goalpost arm. So squeezing the elbows back so you feel your upper back working and more opening through the chest. Bring your left leg up a little bit higher. You got one more breath here. And then slowly release. We'll switch sides, stand on your left foot. Again, you want to drive down through your left, left foot. You're squeezing your left thigh, squeezing your left glute. And then very slowly, just very carefully lifting the right leg away from the ground. Instead of throwing it up in the air, just very slowly lifting it up. So you can feel those little fluctuations and balance happening. Breathe in and out of the nose. If you need some help with balance, place your left hand on something nearby. If you need to turn, if you had whatever you had before, you can do that as well. And instead of arching your back and lifting your chest up, I want you to think keeping your ribs drawn in. So we're not puffing your chest out. We're doing the opposite of that, keeping them neutral. Not rounding down like this, not arching back, but finding that middle ground. And then if you want, if you can, arms come into goalpost arms. Again, elbows squeeze back. It also helps to add a little bit of external rotation to your shoulders. So instead of letting your palms face down, externally rotate so that your palms face somewhat up and then squeeze your arms back even more. Your head, your hips should be right above your standing leg, your heel, you shouldn't be leaning back. And this is a lot, right? We're putting a lot of stuff together here. It's hard to focus on the technique and the breathing, but practicing that focus is what makes these workouts so effective. Not having the focus to start with, but practicing it and developing it. And that's how you get better. All right, go ahead and release. Hope you guys are enjoying this workout. Here's a quick 15 second break to help you catch your breath. If you're looking for more workouts, if you want help being consistent with a routine, I've got a free seven day beginner's yoga for men challenge. Sign up for that at the link in the description below when this workout's finished. Let's do it. From here we're gonna go into another standing balance. Stand on your right foot, press down through that right foot, squeeze your right glute and the right thigh, and then bring your left leg out to the side. So you're abducting that leg. Your toes are gonna face straight forward. You're gonna feel a lot of outer right glute activity as you do this. If you need some help balancing, put your hand on whatever you have nearby with your right hand. And then with your left arm, bring that up so that you're kind of making a star with your body or get doing your best to make your body into a big star, right? Your head, your arms, your legs, five point star. Squeeze that left arm back, open up through the chest. It helps to think, creating space from your left hand all the way to your right elbow. So opening up there, making, the, making your body long, making your body big, opening up the rib cage, working on that breathing, opening up all the muscles that get tight when we get stressed, and being able to keep those muscles open during the day. So this is not just a workout, this is also setting your body up for the day. For you to be able to manage stress, to feel better. Go ahead and release. And then we'll switch sides. So standing on my left foot now, if you need help with the balance, you've got something nearby on your left hand to help with that. And then abducting your right leg now, slowly bringing your leg out, toes face straight forward. 
focus on a non-moving point at eye level. Don't look at me, because I move, right? I wiggle. And then bring your right arm up. If your left arm doesn't need to be a balance support, then you can extend your left arm down. I like to think, get as big as you can with your hands. So really open up through your hands, and you'll feel as you extend your arms, then you feel that opening through the chest as well. Maybe that right leg comes up higher. Breathing in and out of your nose. Remember, getting big, feeling strong, but also expanding. And this is what makes this a different workout than a typical strength workout. We're building strength, but we're also going deeper into our range of motion. And that's really good for your joints. You're going to feel a lot better throughout the day if you're doing this just one workout, but if you do it consistently, then you'll consistently feel better throughout the day. All right, go ahead and come back down. Release there. Now we're coming back to the top of the mat. Right leg goes forward. Take a big step back with your left foot, and then slowly, whoa, slowly release that left knee to the ground, coming into a low lunge. Keep the back toes tucked. Allow your hips to come forward. So allowing your hips to sink down. Not being totally passive, not just letting your whole body flop forward, but allowing your hips to comfortably sink down while remaining in control. So still being able to squeeze the muscles in your hips and your thighs, feeling a nice stretch through the front of your left hip. And you just heard me kind of catch my breath, but if you notice that you're out of breath, slow down the breathing. It's not about whether or not you remember to breathe the whole time. It's about remembering to remember to breathe. So every time you realize you're not breathing, you say to yourself, oh, I'm not breathing. Let me check, pick it. Let me check back in on that. And that's how you gain more awareness. From here, I'm going to have you straighten the back leg. And this might be hard to do, but do the best you can. Straighten the back leg and be really active through this left leg. So the heel presses toward the ground. You're squeezing your left thigh, pushing down through your right foot. So technically, we're doing a high lunge here but we're really emphasizing the stretching of the, the left ankle and also of your left hip flexors. So the way that we move from this lunge, low lunge to high lunge, and really focusing on that back leg is really good for the mobility here. This is going to open up your back, stretching your hip flexors, and then also opening up that ankle is going to help with your feet. It's going to help with your knees. If you wear a dress shoes a lot or you're just kind of not moving your feet a lot, this is going to be really nice for your ankles. Go ahead and lift your arms up. And same thing as the beginning here, I want you to think about creating space through the ribs. So really opening up through the rib cage, getting a nice stretch there, squeezing your arms back as far as possible. And two more breaths here. All right, slowly release. Go ahead and stand up, switch sides. Left leg is forward. Big step back with the right foot and slowly release that right knee to the ground. Now we're starting with this active low lunge. So we're allowing the hips to sink forward. Back toes are tucked. I can squeeze this back leg. I can squeeze my back glute. If you don't have that awareness in those muscles yet, keep practicing. It will come with time. I'm keeping my spine neutral here, so I'm not allowing my low back to arch significantly. See how my low back is flat here? That's what we want to maintain. So the hips come forward. The left knee can come forward. I'm squeezing my left glute to help open up my left hip. My Sorry, squeezing my right glute to open up through my right hip flexors. And the back toes are tucked and active. Breathing still slow and in control. And then when you're ready, lifting the back knee, pushing the heel toward the ground, really squeezing this right thigh to open up through your right hip flexors even more and allowing your hips to come forward with that really active back leg. Slowly breathing in and out of the nose. Lift your arms overhead. Once again, create that space in the rib cage. So really pressing your arms up high, squeezing the arms back as far as they'll go. So you're feeling your upper back working here. Not just a stretch, but active 
mobility work, really squeezing the arms back, feeling the upper back muscles working, feeling those muscles between the shoulder blades working around the armpit, your lats, just really active through the upper back. Simultaneously stretching, building strength, and remaining in control with that slow, controlled breathing in and out of the nose. Your body's gonna wanna breathe faster. It's up to you to resist that. The more that you can practice this, the more that that will carry over into your everyday life, and you'll be able to use your breath to calm down in stressful situations. And go ahead and step out of that. Okay, guys, great job on that workout. Just 15 minutes, but hopefully you're feeling a lot better than when you started. If you struggled with that, keep in mind, you have to be consistent with these workouts in order to get better. Easiest way to do that is to follow along to a program. I've got a free seven-day beginner yoga for men challenge. You can learn more about that at the link in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have some feedback or a question. Subscribe so you don't miss out on new workouts. We put out a new one every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Central. And if you're looking for another workout to do right now, I've got an awesome morning yoga for calm series. Here's the first workout in this series. Go ahead and click right here to check that out now. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.